now we have evidence showing that peach can actually uh, inhibit metastasis in, in, uh, in mice in, uh, for breast cancer and this can be translated to things that can happen also to humans. We made a calculation and we realized that uh, consuming two to three fruits per day can actually have that effect on humans. So we need to confirm this with uh, clinical studies as well, but this is the basis. Now, it's interesting because uh, uh, peach and fruit, uh, stone fruits in general, are very common and popular in the United States. So now we're giving the opportunity uh, to tell consumers that there is something available as a tool that they can add to their diet to fight this terrible disease or prevent it, basically. When you start looking at statistics and you realize that breast cancer is perhaps the top that um, uh, women will experience uh, as, as one of these terrible diseases, so uh, that's the reason why we start studying it. And, and uh, we are very uh, happy to see that our results are contributing to basically uh, help in, in, in preventing these type of things. So our next step is to continue with peaches and, and fruits and, and say uh, plums, uh, all the different kind of stone fruits because what we have seen is that these type of fruits contain a, a group of mixture of compounds that apparently have a lot of different uh, health uh, promoting properties not only in cancer but also in diabetes. Uh, what we're seeing now is that uh, some peach uh, fruits may actually inhibit uh, di diabetes. So we want to continue with the type of work. Uh, we believe that uh, peach fruit, uh, plums in general, uh, are an intriguing fruit in the sense that we always had it with us, but we're discovering fabulous things about it. And I'm sure that in the next years we'll, we'll contribute more to the scientific literature.